Hi, so let's make a quick video on a DFA for all binary strings, let's say, and it is a multiple of three. So it's not like a multiple of two where it just ends in a zero. So the trick here is to make a state for all the possible remainders when divided by three. So in this case, because it's three, we only have zero, one, and two. So I'm gonna make uh, three states right here. So Q zero, which represents, um, uh, strings that are a multiple of three. Q1, which is if you divide by three is a remainder of one, remainder of two for here. So this state obviously should be an accept state because if it has a remainder of zero, that means it is a multiple of three. If we see a zero here, then that means that the remainder is going to be multiplied by two. So if the remainder is zero, multiplying by two, the remainder is still zero. So that means the uh, we're going to stay here. If we see a 1, then that means effectively we multiplied the number by 2 and added a 1. So that means that the remainder is going to be multiplied by 2 and add a 1 onto it. So if we were here, then that means the state we should go to on 1 is over here. Now for this state, if we have a remainder of 1, that means we got to multiply by 2 if we see a 0. Multiply the remainder by 2, which means we should go over to Q2. If we see a 1 after here, that means we multiplied the number by 2 and added 1. So the remainder gets multiplied by 2 and added 1 and reduced mod, uh, uh, with a, when you divide by 3. So 1 times 2 is 2, add 1 is 3, and then 3, you reduce it each time, uh, it becomes 0. So this state on 0 comes back. And then for this state, if we multiply the remainder by 2, we get 4. So then reduced by 3, it becomes 1. So the 0 transition is going to come back here. And for analogous reasons, we can make sure that the 1 transition is going to self-loop on 2. Because 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. And then reduce th by 3 will give us 2. So that's a quick DFA for all binary strings that are a multiple of 3.